assalamu alaikum dear students you know last class uh, we have started new chapter chemical equilibrium so then we were discussing about how to give equilibrium constant expression for different reactions now today we have to give a relationship between kc and kp what is kc where well, kc is kc is equilibrium constant in terms of molarity in terms of molarity it means concentration while kp is equilibrium constant in terms of pressure pressure you know pascals molarity moles per liter now if i take a general equation equilibrium general equation if i take general equilibrium equation suppose a a plus b b chemical equilibrium c c plus d d if i want to give uh, what is kc for it now you know this is this bracket they are showing concentration concentration as per law of mass action now if i wanted to show kc for this reaction i will show kc is equal to product cc to the power c d to the power d divided by a to the power a divided by b to the power b if I want to show in terms of pressure, in terms of Kp, partial pressure, you know partial pressure we cannot show by this bracket because partial pressure, this uh, it is pressure because of molecules, gas molecules. Now Kp will be equal to, so partial pressure of suppose C to the power C, partial pressure of D to the power D divided by partial pressure of A to the power A, partial pressure of b to the power b now we have to give what is the relationship between kc and kp what is their relationship we have to give this relationship so for this we will consider the gas molecules are behaving ideally like we have ideal gas molecules so if they have ideal gas molecules they will follow ideal gas equation so let me give you the the relationship between kc and kp so, so as we know as we know ideal gas equation It is equal to PB is equal to NRT. Now, if I want to write this in other way, I can say P is equal to N over V R T. This N over V, what is N? N is moles divided by volume. This means it is concentration. So concentration I can show by C. So I can write this equation like this. P is equal to, even instead of N by V, I will write C, C, R, T. And we know concentration we can write by bracket. So we can write it like this also. P is equal to, this means concentration, R, R, T. Now if I will now take the example of, if you see we have already we have given here kc is equal to concentration of c to the power c concentration of d to the power d concentration of a to the power a concentration of b to the power b if i will show these uh, these in a, yeah we have also given kp is equal to partial pressure of a to the power a partial pressure of 
this will be c sorry d to the power d partial pressure of a to the power a partial pressure b to the power b now if i want to say suppose here p a this will be concentration of a r t p b now if i write here I can write instead of, suppose this is general, if I want to write now with P, suppose P A, P C, concentration of P, so P A, it will be concentration of A, R T, P B, it will be equal to concentration of B, R T, P C, concentration of C, R T, P D, concentration of D, R T. These values, if I substitute these values in this equation, in this equation, it should be PC to the power C. C, D, A, B. If I put all these values in this equation, what will be the KP? KP will be equal to, instead of PC, I will put here concentration of C, RT, the whole, C. So then, instead of PD, I will put concentration of D, RT, the whole D, divided by concentration of A, A will be here, RT, the whole A, concentration of B, RT, the whole B. Now, if I will take common, this C, D, A, B, I will write in another way. I will write it KP like this. Concentration of C to the power C, because this C is for both, for this, for this also. Then I will take from here D, concentration of D to the power D, divided by concentration of A to the power A, concentration of B to the power B. And here it is RT, so RT, RT, it will be C plus D, here also RT, RT take common, it will be A plus B, A plus B. Now if you see this, this is equal to KC, so instead of this I will write KC. So I will write is equal to Kc. Now we have here Rt to the power C plus D. Rt A plus B. If it will go up eventually it will become minus. So it will become Kc Rt to the power C plus D. And this will go up it will become minus A plus B. Now if I give the final equation, let me give it here. <coughs> so if I want to give the final equation, so Kp will be equal to, it will be equal to Kc Rt to the power C plus D minus a plus B. This C plus D, suppose if we have this minus product minus reactant, this C plus D minus A plus B is equal to del M. It is equal to product number of product minus number of reactants. This is so what will be the final equation? Kp is equal to Kc Rt to the power delta m. This will be our final. This is the relation between where R is gas constant and T is temperature. T is temperature. This is our final equation. If we wanted to apply this equation in examples, let me apply this for examples like this. Suppose we 
can have exercise. If we have PCL5 gas, it will give PCL3 gas plus CL2 gas. What will be the relation between Kp and Kc? So let us see. So before starting this, we have to calculate delta n. Delta n will be product 1 plus 1, 2 minus how many molecules here? 1. It will be 1. Now what will be Kp? Kp will be equal to Kc rt to the power delta n. Delta n is 1, it means Kp will be equal to Kc rt. This is one example. If I have another example, suppose H2 gas plus I2 gas, it is giving twice HI gas. What will be delta N? So, two molecules minus one molecule, one molecule minus two. It will be zero. So, Kp will be equal to Kc RT to the power zero. Anything raised to power zero is equal to one. So, it means in this example, Kp is equal to Kc. Here, Kp is equal to Kc. Here, Kp is equal to Kc RT. Now, if we have another example, suppose we have N2 formation of ammonia. Huh? N2 plus H2 gives us twice NH3 gas. So we have to balance this equation first, three times. What will be the value of delta N? The value of delta N will be product minus reactor. How many products here? Two. Minus this product. How many reactants we have used? Four. It will be minus two. Then Kp will be equal to Kc RT to the power minus 2. We can write it also like this. We can say Kp is equal to Kc divided by RT ka whole 2. Because it is minus, if it will go down, it will become plus. So Kc over RT, yeah, you can write it like this also. Th these are some examples which, are, uh, which we can use for showing what is the relation between Kp and Kc. Okay? Now these are practice problems. Here give relationship of Kp and Kc in the following equilibrium equations. You have to give relationship between Kp and Kc in these following relations by using same equation. You have to use Kp is equal to Kc RT to the power delta n. So first what you will do? First step you will calculate delta n, product minus reactant. Then in the second step you will see uh, what is this? So one, two, three, four, five. This is homework. So you do it and show me the answers. Thank you.